Segment's called Winners, and we did last week. Wow! Five and three, yay us. First time in what feels like forever that we're not digging out of a gigantic hole in September. Let's keep it rolling. Love the board, Steve. A lot of people do. Love the board. Hard time narrowing it down to eight, but that was our lucky number last week, so here we are. Indiana, they don't, they don't beat Ohio State, but they have a knack of hanging around when they play the Buckeyes. The world is on OH, but we will take IU. IU. Uh, let's see what we did. OH. IU. Huh? You were doing clever. Uh, they're also getting 18 points. That line's going up. Kind of scary. Uh, Colorado, they're they're two and zero. They're two and zero. Just beat Nebraska. We gave you them last week in winners. No big deal. They're only giving three and a half points to Air Force. That line reeks like, whew. <laughs> Give me the Fly Boys plus the three and a hook in Boulder. Tulsa feels like we always have them a time or two. This is one of those times. We're backing them plus 14 against Oklahoma State. That's a scary team to go against even when you're getting two touchdowns because the Pokes can score it. But but I just took Tulsa. This line also stinks. Duke giving less than a touchdown to the Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee. We have told you Murfreesboro can be a spooky place to play and we will take the six and a half with the home team there. BYU I know Stanford Steve like this one too. They're getting a uh, four at home from USC fight on Trojans rolled last week but this is their first road game. Cougs to make it a battle. We will take the candle uh, the candy there. Here's another team nobody much believes in right now against a 2 and 0 team playing its first road game. West Virginia has not looked good as an aside. Money line Mike. <laughs> we miss you. Sorry I missed your 18 FaceTime calls last weekend. What the hell are you doing kid. Tighten your game up or get your act together. I'm going to make it up to you by taking the Mountaineers plus the six and a half in Morgantown. Let's go Mountaineers. Let's go drink some beers. Yeah. But no more beers for money line Mike. Here is another team everyone thinks is going to get crushed. UCF they just smash people. Stanford's getting eight and a half. Nobody much likes Stanford including him and he went there. Tough I'm taking matchup. him. You what? Tough matchup. I'm taking him on the road in Orlando. And I told you last week to take UConn and you scoffed at me and yet who covered UConn did and I'm advising play on UCLA against Oklahoma. Bruins look a mess. But we believe they can stay within 23 and a half and that's what they're getting. All right. We also love Liberty mm -hmm. and Florida State and Western Kentucky. And technically Temple is, is the right side and we would have them except they're playing the Terps and um, I like not. turtles. We're going to leave that one over there. We're not not going to touch that one. Just that's over there. All right, so let's take a look at what we gave you. The Hoosiers over uh, Ohio State. India had a, they haven't beaten them on the field since 88, but they've covered seven of the last eight. Right All now. of them as double-digit dogs. Huh? Nice. So that's what we got that on our side. Stanford's getting eight in the hook from UCF during David Shaw's time. They've been getting at least eight and a half on five different occasions. Five and zero oh against the Ooh. number. Four and one on the field. On the field. Chip Kelly and the Bruins. Things are sideways there. They're getting a whole lot against Oklahoma. Under Lincoln Riley Oklahoma has been at least a 23 point favorite nine times. Oh there's six and three against the spread in those games so that's bad. Mm. OU wins by a lot. All right. So there's the big boy Stanford Steve is here. You got our I never know which way to point right there. All right. Those are the picks. What do you what should they do with them. Bird cage them roll them up parlay money parlay teaser reverse all that all of them. listen to his podcast behind the behind the bets. No it's Stanford Steve in the bet. Um, what do you got for us this week? You mentioned the opposite of, of my pick. You mentioned you almost you like Florida State a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm taking Virginia. Uh, in the history of these two teams have played each other, uh -huh. Virginia's never been favored. All right. They're minus seven. Charlottesville Saturday night. ACC Network. I expect big things from the Cavaliers. Willie Taggart, Florida State's head coach, said they need to play a perfect game. I don't think they're going to play a perfect game. Understood. I like the Hoos. There you go. Given seven. You'll be texting with Chris Long throughout. Yeah. He has colorful uh, commentary <laughs> on the text. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.